Alice? Alice? Thank God, can you hear yeah. me? Are you okay? Daniel knows. <laughs> Congrats to you both on the new film. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it's really a twisting, turning mystery. Jacqueline, I'll start with you. But what sure. initially led you to this project? Uh, just the chance to work with that team of Eric Banner and Robert Connolly and Bruna, Jodie and Steve made up stories who have done so many amazing things. I'm sure you're across what they've been doing for Australian content and, and women in uh, film and television. And Robert Connolly, who I've just wanted to work with at a much deeper level than when I worked with him so long ago in a short film out straight out of acting school. And Eric Banner, who I have loved for so long, and I was a guest on his comedy show back in the day, and um, he was just such an energy, even then, like such an energy. And I remember thinking, my God, I was watching him do these comedy routines live, and then come back and do a bit more of interview. And then in a commercial break, he's off getting another, like some stand-up thing he was doing. I'd never seen anything like it. Amazing, well you mentioned it there, but with the exception of Eric, it is kind of a female-led ensemble cast, which is something I feel is really refreshing in Australian film. Robin, what was it like to, to work with so many amazing actors? Oh, it was a real privilege to be around. I mean, we didn't have many moments together, but I was I'm a huge uh, fan of, of Jack's. And yeah, working with Anna so closely, Anna Torv, um, who's just, yeah, mind hunter, just uh, since then, I've I been, literally I've couldn't watch her it. It was too much. Pedestal. It's too scary. She's so brilliant, and yeah. So and being with Eric as well, um, it, there's such an ease and um, craft that they both have that's just effortless. So it's it's wonderful to to have worked on on this project with these yeah with these characters and in this genre too. I think it's really mm. refreshing. Um, yeah, you've done a lot of detective. Um, well, I, have, I did genre, one. Right? I did one, Oh, I did a, a movie that never made it to series with Guy Pearce, playing an undercover cop. That was fun. That was a long time ago. And then I played a Homeland Security detective on Forty Four Hundred in a sci-fi, yeah. which was brilliant. I loved it, but nothing like this. Not, yeah, not this that. is this so is uniquely different. Australian. Yeah. The setting itself is so different from what I think we've ever seen in an Australian landscape before. I think yeah. Jane Harper's work has this amazing ability to turn the, the landscape into a character all of its own, but this is something completely different. What was it like to film in the rainforest kind of jungle aspect of, of yeah. Victoria? Well, on our first day um, in the Dandenong Ranges, we had a welcome to country. We're on Wurundjeri land and it was really special to have that welcome because it immediately grounded us as a cast into connection with the sacredness of the landscape and it's it, our Australian bush has a history that predates you know everything so it's it was really special to have that connection and then be working with the trees and the water and it was for me it was like a deeply spiritual experience and I felt so lucky to be yeah, to, to have, because you know, I've been in the US and Canada for 10 years and to come home and have this as my first film, as my homecoming film, I was like, it was, yeah, divine. I love that you say that. I felt more like a colonialist who well, came I mean... into it to get what she wanted. Yeah. And leave happy, if she could. You yeah, know, and you, I love that. But that's really ruthless. what my character was to do. She, uh, she's there. The function is to shine, you know, to, 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 to allow our beautiful lead character, of Aaron Fork, the detective Aaron Fork, through the three films, ultimately, mm. to see each side and to be able to work out how he can manage both sides of his identity and, and his essence, how they can marry up being a police detective and being a human being. And, yeah, I think know. that's a big theme too across the, you know, yours and, and Eric's characters and then the women, you've got the corporate structure and then you've got the police structure, they're both mm. corrupt, they're both dysfunctional and you've got, you know, these these human beings, the, the five women out in the forest and that's when that structure collapses, mm. you see a really ugly side of of them because they've been, you know, relating to each other in this hierarchical way. And then with your character, it's, I love the ending that you have with Eric. It's, you just turn, I won't give it away. Don't but give it away. You, you turn. We get married. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, well, that's all the time, but thanks so much for, for chatting with me. It's fantastic to, to watch the film and to, to hear your perspectives on it. Thank Congrats you again. so much. Yeah. Nature holds us all to account.